package from BX Photo. What is this? Moon dog that filter mount. What's this? And the morphic adapter. What? Oh, I see. Ding. This is a video about how to seriously pimp up your iPhone for serious filming. Well, as much as you can, because you can't really compete this with a red camera, right? But these are money you can buy to pimp up your iPhone. Now the iPhone already take amazing footage, but there are things that you can add onto it, like a microphone with adapter and ah, uh, there's no headphone jack on the iPhone. Hang on, I forgot about this. Yes, you have to use this adapter. Uh, don't go. Why? This cable is from row the black side to the mic, the grey side to your phone. Because the iPhone built in mic is good, but not that good. Now you have a mic for your iPhone, for your iPhone shooting. But you have to mount it somewhere, in some way. Now you can start with something like this, a shoulder port thing phone mount this is a really secure phone mount and this wooden grip is so great now this doesn't have a mount for your mic but well the thing is i don't have it here but they sell them they sell uh, extra mount for your mic and for your light something like that but here i've got a better solution with this the helium phone mount phone case this one is made for iphone 8 plus the phone in well the only thing i don't really like is that it don't have any soft bit inside it's just when you put on iphone in it kind of like oh metal to metal but i have used this to shot a few video already about the iphone 10 and it is really secure and around the whole frame it got loads of points to mount anything we want grip a wooden grip at the bottom a mic as good as the Rode video my pro plus it's about as much noise as you can get when you filming now as you can see in front there's a thread you can put in anti fader like this some i thought it's called some wearable anti fader for your phone how crazy is that? For small, you can add an arm and then you can get at a light. A man photo LED light. You can use this setup for YouTube Live, Facebook Live, and you can have professional sound. You can have professional lighting. I mean, if you are using like an actual camera for YouTube Live, Facebook Live, you have to plug it into HDMI cable, plug it into a computer. This is definitely another option pretty good as well oh what about lens choice how about this cute size exo lenses now this the thread is for their exo skeleton mount thing but with an appropriate adapter now we can put it on here heaven size lens how about that for your phone fit with this helium phone case and of course the little stuff come in just today and the morphic even the back cover is metal look at this this looks really nice and it feels really nice the whole thing is metal uh, look at this you got like this kind of almost like an iphone 5s there's a bit of silver silver lining there and the morphic lens how crazy is that so with this lovely orange color the whole thing is metal though so it's really solid now with this adapter, you can use anti-fader like this Genius Tech one. Now how do you shoot anamorphic on an iPhone? Well, there are apps. There's an app for that. In Filmic Pro, there's even an option that actually support this lens in hardware. And then you pick the anamorphic adapter. Serious Nico anamorphic stuff. Let me try some lens flare. Ooh, look at that! Oh, look at that lens flare. Oh, some JJ album thing. A bomb, not album. 
Now let me think, if you want to shoot even wider than 16 by 9 With this you can shoot 2.35 to 1 ratio What it do is that without this you will have to shoot it in 16 by 9 and then crop it So you, you're losing resolution right? But with this you shoot it in 16 by 9 but it squeezes it like that but when you push it back, you got 2.35 to 1 ratio but without losing any pixel at all so you got the full 4K image from this but with that aspect ratio that you want As they say, just because you can doesn't mean you should I'm not here to judge but what do you think? Voice out in the comment below